Hello Ram Nation, uh, I am Miss Van Dab. And I am Gabriel Bocock. And we are here for your Friday announcements. If you want to exempt from exams, you have to make sure you have no unexcused absences and no more than three excused absences in any classes. If you do, you cannot exempt. And you also have to have at least a 90% in the class. That is correct. And also, if you are interested in signing up for winter sports, you need to visit the athletic office and there are signups right outside the window. So if you are uh, excited for those winter sports that are coming up soon, make sure you've got a, a physical on file that is current. And in other news, Mr. Sardina sent a plea for help. We need more people to try out for Mr. and Mrs. South Haven. Not a lot of people are doing it, so there's not as much chance of you losing. So if you want to be Mr. or Mrs. South Haven, try out. All students are invited to attend our How to Pay for College night here in the ILC on October 23rd from 6 to 8 p.m. All students and their parents or guardians are invited to attend at 6 p.m. for a short presentation by representatives from, the, from LMC on how to pay for college, the different types of financial aid, and more. All right, and one other news uh, event that we have for you is that the South Haven History Club is presenting Haunted History at North Shore Elementary on Sunday the 28th from 6 until 7.30. They're going to have a guest speaker, a paranormal Michigan investigator from 6.30 to 7.30. There's also going to be um, some desserts and some beverages that they're shelling out to the people that are interested. So if you're interested in paranormal activity this uh, Halloween season, then go ahead and check out that activity taking place at North Shore. It's going to be spoopy. Very spooky. Current seniors and their parents or guardians are invited to stay after the presentation to work on their free application for federal student aid, FAFSA. LMC staff will be available to assist with questions regarding the financial aid application. Seniors, as you complete your applications for schools, FAFSA scholarships, or if you are working with a military recruiter, complete a pink raffle card in the Student Success Center for a chance to win free stuff. The more applications you complete, the better your chances for winning. There will be weekly drawings of all of October. Winners will be notified via email. When we think of high-risk behaviors while driving, we have certain pictures in our minds. But there's another kind of behavior that can be just as dangerous. More and more people use their cell phones while driving. Distracted driving due to cell phone use can have dangerous results. It was a nightmare. The sheriff's deputy showed up at the door and told me my son had been in a crash and it didn't look like he was going to make it. I remember reaching for my cell phone which had fallen on the passenger floor and was ringing. I grabbed it, set it up and I was airborne off the road. When you're driving at 55 miles per hour, just five seconds of distraction can take you the length of a football field. Sam fought back from a traumatic brain injury. I had to learn how to walk, talk, eat my mouth, and socialize again. Reading, 
typing or sending a text while behind the wheel is illegal in Michigan. Fines and fees are imposed and will increase for subsequent offenses. But with thousands of people killed or injured each year due to distracted driving, fines are the least of your problems. Before he was hurt, he was an Eagle Scout. He was a, a soccer goalie. He was very determined. He went to a gifted program and he was the first one in their, their gifted program to win the International Science Fair. And because of that, he went to work at Harvard. At the same time, he was in pre-med, taking online courses a full load through MSU. And his plan was to become an MD, PhD and uh, be a research scientist to help people. I would have loved to change it, but we can't. This is not only his nightmare, our nightmare. Hands down, I would get home and then deal with the phone. If you can't resist responding to your cell phone's alerts, put your phone in silent mode when you drive and store it inside the armrest console or glove compartment. Never check your phone while operating a vehicle. When you're driving, always stay focused on the road. It's the best call you'll ever make. Another top story we are following is an upcoming carnival on Friday, October 26, 2018. The High School Tri-M Music Honor Society will be presenting a Halloween carnival for all children ages 12 and under. Must be accompanied by an adult. The carnival will take place from 4.30 to 7.30 p.m. in the Baseline Middle School Gym. The Halloween carnival will feature an assortment of carnival games, pumpkin painting, face painting, photo booth, bouncy house, instrument petting zoo, concessions, and more. In addition, there will be a costume contest at 6 p.m. This is a community event, so please feel free to share with all of your family, friends, and others in the community. Admission is free. Tickets for carnival games will be on sale at the door for 50 cents each. Everyone is encouraged to wear their costume and bring a bag or bucket of candy and prizes. Here's an announcement that was sent to all students via email last week. Make sure you are checking your attendance daily. You will not be able to exempt from any exams with any unexcused absence or more than three excused absences. We are only allowed to change your attendance the week of the absence. Also, reserve your copy of the 2019 yearbook by October 19th to, look, to lock in the lowest price of the year. Order forms are available in the main office and on the yearbook bulletin board in B Hall, or you can order online at jostens.com. Your books are being sold for $50 each. And this has been your news for Friday. I am Miss Van Dapp. And I'm Gabe Bocock. And just a reminder, tonight is the last football game of the season. It is South Haven versus... Allegan. So tonight at 7. See you there. Yeah.